Hey everyone, happy homebrew or homemade beer Wednesday. It's Andreas again. I've got kind of a longer update uh, this week, um, touching on a couple different subjects. The first of which probably is the kegging system. My uh, buddy just, uh, he fell through completely. Um, at least I know that's definitive now. Um, so I'm piecing together my own system um, and I've got some kegs um, on the way and disconnects and tubing and stuff as well. Um, the regulator for the CO2 tank is held up. Um, it's on back order. So that might be, unfortunately, another month or more um, of time to wait for that. But um, at least I'll have the rest of it or at least most of it. And I can at least, you know, lay it out before me and see um, what I'm dealing with. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you know, even if it's not fully functioning then. Um, so the only things I have left to get um, are the line insulation for the tubes into the kitchen, um, the taps, and uh, CO2 tanks. So I'm, you know, prowling Craigslist looking for a, I'm thinking a 20-pound tank. I think that'll last me a good long while, um, you know, but I'm also keeping an eye out for any 5 or 10-pound as well. So we'll see what I find. Uh, tonight I am drinking a vanilla porter uh, by Breckenridge Brewery. Um, it's one of my girlfriend and I's favorite beers, craft beers. Uh, it goes really well by itself. It's also uh, really good over ice cream or as a milkshake. Um, really tasty. Um, so yeah, the keg, um, that's probably the biggest disappointment. Um, I was hoping to get that uh, quickly turned around and installed. Uh, it's going to take a little bit longer, but it's still happening. Uh, the other update is that I bottled the porter this past weekend on Saturday. So that's aging for a couple weeks now. I plan to brew another beer this weekend, actually. Um, I'm thinking of doing an IPA uh, and kind of tweaking some of the ingredients. So I, uh, I look forward to that. It should be pretty refreshing. All right, the other up half of this update is a brief tour of where I age my beers. Uh, and also where the kegerator is. So let's check that out. I don't really do transitions well, so maybe I'll have it slide across, or maybe I'll cut myself off mid All right, so here's my little brewing nook. Uh, this is where I age my beers and keep most of my brewing supplies. You can see bottle caps and cappers, uh, I guess hearing protection. Um, so yeah, you can see we've got my carboys back there. Uh, the pail I used, I, you know, the pail I put the beer in to bottle with. Um, and I've got the bottles down here that are aging. This is the uh, the porter that I bottled on. Uh, I think I did it on Saturday. Um, so I've got some bombers and uh, so yeah, it's kind of a motley crew of bottles, but it works for sure. Um, and then over here. We've got uh, some of my whip beers um, that I made. I've also got some more um, up in here. Um, so I've got a good stock of that. I've also got a few of the stouts, um, my first batch that I made. Um, yeah, my girlfriend's going to kill me because it's so messy back here. But uh, this is the fridge that I plan to convert into the kegerator of sorts. Um, I will go into much more detail when I actually do that. Um, but yeah, the lines, I'm planning to keep the CO2 tank on the right hand side and bring the lines around the side, um, into the kitchen, which is right behind this wall. Again, I'll explain it better. I don't really want to get into it now cause it's too messy. Um, but I just want to give you a quick, uh, view of where I age all of my stuff. Um, and before I go, uh, we also, my girlfriend made a, um, what is this? It's a, it's a Monterey Jack uh, cheese. She made that a few months ago, uh, dipped it in wax, and now uh, it's aging for a few more months. I think it'll be ready in April, so that should be pretty tasty. Uh, this is also where I uh, ferment the sauerkraut that I've made. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my little intro. All right, with that, as usual, thanks for subscribing. Thanks to my new subscribers. Thanks for checking out my videos. And I will see you next week. Cheers.